Agolo na Agolo no 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 Agolo no no Iba baba Iba baba Iba yeye Iba yeye Iba baba yeye Iba baba yeye Perhaps what many do not know is the historical and social cultural affinity that is at the root of the state of Oshun Cuban interaction. People of the state of Oshun are strategically placed in the Yoruba world as the inhabitant of the very source of the Yoruba race, Ileife. Ileife, believed to be the theater of creation and spring of all Yoruba people, along with some other ancient towns and cities of the Yoruba nation, are located in the state of Oshun. On two occasions since the inception of the dynamic and positively unusual administration of Ogbeni Rao Aregbeshola, his government had organized a state of Oshun delegation to visit and participate in the May Day Workers' Day celebrations in Cuba, that is in 2012 and 2013. It is becoming something of a regular pilgrimage. But why a pilgrimage to Cuba of all destinations? Indeed, the delegation in the first year encountered some hostilities from diplomatic, security and opposition political groups who attempted to undermine the trip and embroiled it in needless controversy, all based on fabricated falsehood.
The second delegation of 2013, however, encountered less hostility, perhaps because of an increasing understanding. Yoruba worldview, ethos, beliefs, and religions, especially Ifa, Ogun, and Oshun, are still very strong in the state of Oshun, with corresponding sacred sites and world-renowned festivals. Now with Cuba, the major religion that is practiced by the Afro-Cuban is the Yoruba religion, with the strongest deities being Ifa, Ogun and Oshun. And nowadays we practice, still alive, for religion with African roots. The most popular is going to be regular the Osha Ifa, or everybody know as Santeria. That is a Cuban product that we have created here with the base in Nigeria. <laughs> Afro-Cuban population is significant in Cuba, along with the influence and impact of their culture, tradition, religion, and festivals brought over from Africa, especially Yoruba land, and never forgotten since slavery days. Another one, the secret society Abakua, you know, that has its origins in south of Nigeria, north of Cameroon, the Cross River area. And then nowadays we practice all of them. But the artists of this place try to give a kind of homage to the African ancestors. And in 1990, created this holy street inspired by this kind of heritage that we have to be proud of it. Nowadays, we are a community project where we promote this kind of culture. For instance, today you are listening to rumba, music in the street, rumba party. We have this kind of activities every Sunday from 12 to 3. We have activity for children, and we have activities, uh, other kind of activities in order to promote this kind of culture. For instance, that mural, in blue over here, it is inspired by Yemaya. Yeah. Yemaya, you know about that. In Cuba, Yemaya is the goddess of the sea, maternity, fertility, the mistress of the surface of the sea. And uh, her color it is blue, and in Catholicism, in Cuba, we mix with our black Madonna. Remember that when the slaves came here, they needed to readapt their culture. They reinvented, in some cases, their identity. And that's why nowadays we have a mixture with Catholicism. In Afro-Cuban culture, Yemaya, and in Catholicism, is going to be La Virgen de Regla, our Black Madonna. And we have, we, we have, or we know, the liturgy of around 15 Orishas because it's supposed that we received here in Kiva around 200, but most of the secrets were lost with the slave. <laughs> Mm 
therefore a powerful basis for interaction between the people of the state of Oshun and Afro-Cuba is established, both for historical and sociocultural reasons, as well as business and commercial exchange based on spiritual and cultural tourism. The same applying to Brazil, especially the state of Bahia, also Trinidad and Tobago, Peru and Haiti, among other countries of the Americas. It must be noted here, however, that the Cuban May Day Festival featured or received delegations from other states in Nigeria, as well as from all over the world and not only from the state of Oshun. Another strong reason for the presence of these diverse delegation is the similar historical experiences and shared realities between Cuba, not only with the state of Oshun, but with Nigeria and Africa as a whole. On account of our shared experiences with slavery, colonialism, struggles for independence and continuing struggle as non-aligned third world developing countries confronting similar developmental problems and sharing experiences on how to overcome them. Cuba has nevertheless triumphed in a few sectors where it is even acclaimed as the world's best, particularly in medicine and biotechnology. Also in certain specific sports like boxing and calisthenics, the latter know-how having been transferred to Oshun specialists as manifested in the calisthenics display in the state, which has placed the state of Oshun today as the best, if not the only state in Nigeria with capacity to stage such a massive and spectacular sporting event to the benefit of its school system as an extracurricular activity to teach teamwork, cooperation and aesthetics. Just a boy, I saw my daddy cry And it took my breath away Cause I felt love that day Finally, and not the least, among many other reasons that cannot be mentioned in a short documentary of this nature, is attendance and solidarity participation at the May Day Rally on May 1st. The May Day Workers' Parade in Cuba are among the most amazing and largest human congregation on earth. 
perhaps next only to the pilgrims gathering at the Kaaba in Mecca. It has to be seen and experienced to be appreciated. Anyone who seeks to learn competence in the organization and coordination of massive events has to understudy the Cuban May Day Parade, where hundreds of thousands of festive participants gather, interact and disperse so peacefully, returning the theater and environment of festivities to its peaceful, serene function minutes after the long hours of gathering. Accordingly, the State of Oshun delegation trip is always planned to coincide with the May Day celebration and comprises three basic categories of participants. The Union and Solidarity components on account of the May Day celebration. The business and corporate interests on account of economic and technical exchanges and partnerships desired. The level of knowledge or the cultural level. Today you may find in any cooperative. I had the pleasure of working with the Ministry of Finance and 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 I want to ask, I want to know, that the production, what? the products from this farm, are they selling it to the government, and the government is subsidizing it to the mass of the people. to the neoliberal governments of the West, it is simply unthinkable that poor people should receive education and free health care. It is simply intolerable to the capitalist class that the world's resources be distributed according to need and not want or greed. And last but not the least, the Yoruba culture interests on account of social, cultural, and religion interaction and artistic exchanges possible. Around the above stated interest groups, the large delegation is organized to go through a one or two weeks tour package to maximize their experience and gains and build contacts for sustainable relationships. Among such activities and programs are visits to and interactions with relevant Afro-Cuban communities and institutions. Cientos y miles de esclavos y trajeron diversos sistemas religiosos que tenemos una pequeña representación en ese eh, segundo piso. 
thousands of, of slaves were brought to Cuba, and that in the second floor there, there is the, the manifestation of other religions that those slaves brought. Brought to Cuba from the 17th century to the 19th century. Visits to and interactions with youth, women, and sport organizations, and exchange of ideas. Visits to one of the world's largest tourist facilities in Varadero to understudy ideas and processes that can be replicated in the near future around cultural tourism, which Oshun has great potential for. March together with the Cuban people on May Day. Bienvenidos a la ciudad del Che. Welcome to the city of Che Guevara. Y bienvenidos a este lugar sagrado para todos los cubanos uh, y para todos los revolucionarios del mundo. Most of all, welcome to this place which is sacred for Cubans and for visits and participation in sustainable small and medium scale agricultural enterprises where output is totally maximized from intelligent utilization of limited space and input. Uh, the fact that they can educate everybody and, uh, and everybody has, uh, well, some sort of work and, uh, and also the cooperative effort here on the farm um, as, uh, as uh, what you would call in Canada a senior citizen. Uh, we come here for volunteer work and just wondering what can we do at our age that would be useful. But here we are with some Nigerians who are the same, senior Nigerian citizens, and we are sorting out uh, mangoes for, uh, for going to the juice factory. So it's, uh, there is something for everybody to do and to feel useful. And uh, it's, I think this is um, the best thing about the system in Cuba. And I also view it as a very good example for your country and, and mine uh, to show that here is a country that is blockaded and yet they can provide health care for everybody and education for everybody. In Canada, many of our students uh, end up finishing university with student loans and no job. So here in, uh, in Cuba, people uh, get uh, to work in the profession that they have studied for in university. I think it's an example to all of the uh, Western capitalist countries. It shows people in those countries that it can be done and it should be done. Visits to historical and cultural sites relevant to shared experiences between the African and Cuban people. And many other such serious activities incorporating a few leisurely times to take in the sights and sounds of a handful of Cuban cities. They are brothers in history, en la cultura, in culture, y en la sangre, and in the blood. Comimos.
Noshung today. The benefits of such interaction with Cuba is not limited to the calisthenics ability alone. Medical cooperation, especially on malaria control, building of biomanure and pesticide plants, exchange of performing cultural troops, and corporations, especially in the field of sports, are ongoing. Contrary to the mischievous fabrications and mispresentation of the intent of the Oshun Cuban Exchange. The program is one of the many deeply thought unusual innovations of the visionary government of Ogbeni Rauf Aregbeshola, the architect of a new society. The impact and benefits of such program is harvested in the fullness of time. Thank you.